the show was packed with audience questions for our guests, and I thought we it would be a perfect show to end the show with what we call Q and Re. We have about uh, five minutes. Let's see how many we can get in there. Who's first? Hello, what's your name? Uh, my name is Logan. Hi, Logan. How are you? I'm good. Um, so I was just wondering, I know, like, your schedule is probably, like, really busy. What's your favorite way to, like, relax and just kind of unwind? The absolute truth? I go home, I put on my pajamas and my slippers, of which I have, like, a, a large slipper collection. Uh, and I pour a glass of wine and I go in the kitchen and I cook. <laughs> I, also, I also love photography. I love to travel. I like to read actual books. Um, so, I mean, it, if it's super quiet and I'm done cooking, I will uh, read or... And I also like art. I like to draw and paint and things. But generally, you'll find me in the kitchen if you came to my home, which people find freaky. But I'm like, why do you think I do this for a living? Duh. <laughs> Hi. Hello, Rachel. What's your name? My name is Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi. What can I do you for? I was wondering, now that you're 50 years young, what did you cook to celebrate your birthday? Uh, on my actual birthday, my mom and my sister threw me a pizza party, but my friends nice. gifted me a... Uh, a surprise party three months later in which I ate nothing and drank a lot. <laughs> and my, my kind of super party. close girlfriends also gave me a lovely Mexican dinner. So uh, I'm an equal opportunity eater. And <laughs> at any age, I will pretty much eat anything. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. OK, uh, uh, one more. Let's keep going. Hi. Hi, Rachel. Hi, what's your name? Daniela. Hi, Daniela. Beautiful name. Thank you. I wanted to know what are your top three favorite restaurants in Manhattan and what would you order in each of them? I don't like lists that are, so in like no particular order. Like I love giving people recommendations, but I don't like rating things okay, because no I don't like to be rated as okay. a human. Uh, but um, the if calories it, have to count, so it has to be something, you know, yeah. good. Uh, what are your favorite types of food? I like everything. I just want something that it's well, like an explosion okay. in your mouth and you say, yum, this, I've never in, had this before. In Manhattan, yeah. um, in all of New York City, it gets a little more complicated because Brooklyn has so many homes uh, yeah. of my favorite restaurants. In New York City, um, for Italian food, I love Via, V-I-A, Carota, C-A-R-O-T-A, on Grove Street. And uh, across there? the street, they have a beautiful little bar that serves perfect Negronis. Um, so you can kind of make an evening of that. It's very romantic and sweet, very vegetable driven. Two brilliant female chefs. Um, and to me, it's the most authentic experience outside of Italy. It's like literally being in a trattoria, uh, you know, in, in a beautiful uh, Italian city. Um, let's see. I also love Union Square Cafe. It's a classic, and Danny Meyer is such a great man, and he regentrified a lot of um, Manhattan, including the neighborhood that I live in. Uh, so that's a classic for me. I love a restaurant called Nick's. It's called Nick's because it's based on an old court case that reclassified tomatoes, which are a fruit, as a vegetable, so that people would buy more of them. The court case is titled Nick's versus whatever. And uh, I would imagine the United States. And um, Nick's is right in my hood, and it's all vegetarian and vegan. It has an amazing cocktail menu. But I have taken men that are serious meat and potato people there, and they absolutely love it. So Nick's, Union Square for classic, you know, classic New York experience, and Via Carota if you want a nice romantic Italian Thank dinner. you.